Hi there and welcome to Van Life Devotions. Today, I have something personal to share. I'm at the rear of my house and five days ago, I was up this ladder cleaning these gutters when suddenly the ladder slipped from under me, causing me to fall 10 feet to these tiles. Remarkably, my hair did not make contact with these tiles. Praise God for that. My knees and shins took the impact, causing immediate swelling and bruising. Liesl took me to the Rabina Hospital Emergency Department, who admitted me straight away due to the height from which I had fallen. All the doctors and nurses that saw me were convinced that I had broken or dislocated my kneecaps, fractured my shins, and perhaps also to my toe as well. My heart sank as I told them that my daughter is getting married in four weeks. I asked if I would be ready and, and okay to walk my daughter down the aisle. They said, after pausing, probably, but with crutches. I wasn't happy with that news and so we got praying and I asked family members to also pray for a miracle. They took me for x-rays and then we waited. After reviewing the x-rays, the doctor came in and said that I am incredibly lucky as the scans reveal that it wasn't nearly as bad as they all originally thought. Yes, I have pain and bruising, but there are no major breaks nor dislocations to which Liesl responded, God answered our prayers. And the doctor said, yes, he did. I've been on crutches now for the past few days, but in four weeks, I look forward to walking our daughter, Chelsea, down the aisle. Two things I've learned since this accident. One, if I'm going to be climbing ladders again, make sure there's a support person. And two, God caused a miracle. My head didn't hit anything and I didn't jar my back or neck and there's no breakages or dislocations to my legs. Incredible. Now, I can't explain why God causes miracles for someone while another suffers. It's one of those mysteries of life. And it's a question that I certainly want to ask God one day when I'm in heaven. But I do believe that God does go before us. Last week, I shared from Psalm 23, verse 6, that God's goodness and love actually pursues us. Well, here's another truth. God goes before us. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, Moses was nearing the end of his life, and he was told by the Lord that he wasn't going to enter into the promised land. Joshua and another generation of Israelites were. The promised land though was already inhabited by another culture who wouldn't look too kindly to this group moving in. And so Moses told them in verse eight, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. I have a feeling that as I fell, God went before me, protecting my head and other parts of my body from serious injury. As you travel, may you be aware that God is not only actively pursuing you, he's also going before you. If you were going into a difficult situation, pray that God would go before you. He promises to never leave nor forsake you, so do not be afraid. Or discouraged we serve a good God let's pray dear God thank you for going before me and sparing my life from major injury I pray that you will go before those who are traveling now or maybe going into a difficult situation give us peace and courage O oh God, preserve us who travel, surround us with your loving care, protect us from every danger, and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.